This year's new attractions include an octopus garden, a police and fire academy, Splash Zoo, but the biggest one involves Darth Vader. May the force be with Legoland. Legoland making a big announcement just moments ago, Erica. The park announced that a Star Wars mini land will be opening on March 31st. Oh my God. Well, Legoland is ringing in the new year with what it's calling out of this world plans for 2011. You said it right. A galaxy far, far away just got a lot, lot closer to San Diego. The Legoland is adding more Legos. Yesterday, the theme park announced that it will expand this year. Stormtroopers invaded Legoland for today's announcement of a new Star Wars-themed mini-land. Legoland is drawing back the curtain on a coming exhibit that started a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Well, R2, did you hear the good news? <laughs> The good news is Star Wars is coming to Legoland. Visitors will be able to see seven of the most famous scenes from the Star Wars movies and over 2,000 Lego models of their favorite Star Wars characters. At the heart of Legoland, there's an area called Miniland, which depicts um, the iconic and famous town cities from uh, the USA. This is the first time we've departed from that formula and created the alternative world of Star Wars. His voice just makes me want to visit. Yeah. A million half Lego bricks are going into Star Wars Miniland, and also many of these guys. Well, I'm certainly really excited about it. <laughs> Always have a good time here with you. <laughs> well, Steve, the Force is coming to Carlsbad this spring. This Star Wars banner greeted families heading in Legoland this morning. They're excited about the new attraction. I think it's cool. I can't wait. The GM says 2010 was a record year for Legoland. The water park that opened in May helped bring in the crowds, even in a tough economy. The growth, it's, it's certainly uh, our best year ever. Uh, it's a record year for Legoland California um, and uh, more than double-digit growth on the previous year.